Introduction to PL SQL. In our course, we have discussed SQL until now. Now we are going to discuss PL SQL. Let's start our journey in PL SQL with its definition. PL SQL stands for Procedural Language Structured Query Language. It is a database oriented programming language that extends Oracle SQL with procedural capabilities. PL SQL is one of three languages embedded in the Oracle database, the other two being SQL and Java. This definition gives you an idea about PL SQL. Now let's see the functionality of PL SQL. Basically, SQL statements are declarative statements because in SQL the statements are defined in static terms. PLSQL is a procedural language where a program specifies a series of operations to be performed to achieve the result. In PLSQL, we can use conditional and selective statements. PLSQL supports stored procedures. Stored procedures are groups of statements compiled and stored in the database. These procedures are created to do particular operations. We will see procedures in detail in upcoming lessons. Generally, PLSQL programs are stored as functions, procedures, and packages. There is limited support for object-oriented programming in PLSQL programming. PLSQL is based on the Ada programming language and shares many elements of its syntax with Pascal. PLSQL supports the DML statements, and it supports constants and variables. In PLSQL, we can trap runtime errors. PLSQL contains several predefined packages. We can use these predefined packages in our program. In this section, we have discussed PLSQL and its functionality. Here we will take a look at the operations carried out in the execution of a PLSQL program. Take a look at this picture. Here the Oracle server has a separate engine to execute the PLSQL program and a separate executor to execute the SQL statements. As we discussed earlier, we can write the SQL statements in the PLSQL block. Generally, whenever a PLSQL program gets executed, the Oracle server separates the SQL codes and the PLSQL codes. It gives the SQL statements to the SQL statement executor and gives the PLSQL codes to the procedural statement executor. We can also start the PLSQL engine in the Oracle server or in application development tools, such as Oracle Forms, Oracle Reports, etc. Here we have discussed the PLSQL program execution. In the next section, we are going to see the PLSQL program structure. Now let's look at the structure of the PLSQL program. PLSQL is a block structured language. The basic units that make up a PLSQL program are logical blocks, which can contain any number of nested subblocks. A block is a group of related declarations and statements. The declarations are local to the block. Here we see the structure of a PLSQL program. In this PLSQL block, the first section is the declaration section. This section starts with the keyword declare. It is optional. In this section, we can define local variables and cursors. The next section is an executable section. Here we can write the executable statements for the PLSQL program. We can write conditional statements looping statements, and SQL statements in this section. Then the exception handling section can be written to handle exceptions. It is also optional. This section starts with the keyword exception. 
we can write the exception handling statements in this section. Finally, the PLSQL block is terminated by the keyword END. Every PLSQL block must be finished with this keyword. In this lesson, we have learned the basics of PLSQL. In upcoming lessons, we will see more about this language. PLSQL Fundamentals This lesson will teach you the fundaments of PLSQL. After finishing this lesson, you will have an idea about PLSQL and the method of writing PLSQL programs. Generally, there are two ways to write the PLSQL programs. Here we are going to discuss these two ways. Let's see the first way. In this way, we can write our program in an SQL Plus window. We can write our PLSQL program at the SQL prompt and type the character forward slash at the end of the program to execute the written program. Let's see how to write a simple program in this manner. First get into SQL Plus and type the statements like this. This block of statements is called an anonyms block. Let's discuss each statement in this block. Let's start with the statement set server output on. We have discussed in the report creation lesson about how to set the system variables. Here we have set the server output system variable. This statement is used to access records from the Oracle server. Next, we have started our program with the begin word. Then we have written the statement to display a message. In this statement, dbms output is a package, and put line is a procedure in it which is used to print the value. We have already discussed the predefined packages in our earlier lesson. We will learn more about procedures, functions, and packages in upcoming lessons. Finally, we close our program with the end. I hope you're all clear with each and every statement in this PLSQL block. Now we are going to execute our PLSQL program. To do this, we need to type the character forward slash. Now this block successfully executes and displays the message, Hello, welcome to PLSQL. In this section, we will talk in detail about the next method of writing PLSQL programs. We can write the PLSQL program in the notepad or other editor and save the file with the extension SQL, and we can execute them in our SQL+. Let's see how to write a PLSQL program in Notepad Editor. First, type the command at the SQL prompt like this. ed example dot sql and press enter. This opens a new Notepad Editor window and asks for a confirmation to create a new file. In the confirmation alert box, press the Yes button. Now we are going to write a PLSQL block. After writing that block, save that file. And finally, close the Notepad window. Now we have successfully written our PLSQL program. Let's see how to execute this block. We can use the command start to start the execution of a PLSQL program. Type the command at the SQL prompt like this. Start example.sql and press enter. Now our program is executed and the result is displayed on the